Hello everyone, it is uh, May uh, 5th, 2022. Uh, I only have a couple minutes. I'm about to speak with my therapist and that's what I was going to actually speak today in my video about. Um, what what I'd really like to concentrate on to keep it on uh, on on track with what you know the main main point here that I usually am trying to make is uh, that uh, you have a lot of uh, repercussions after uh, going through cancer treatments and uh, you know they can range from and anything from very tiny things that re that are remnants if you if you do well to you know lifelong things that have to change and um although i have a bunch of other issues thanks to normal daily life to talk to my therapist about what i wanted to say to everyone was um how important it is if you feel that you are having a uh, severe depression or or just anxiety over your uh, cancer treatments or your cancer diagnosis, or even in my case, um, you know, I'm, uh, as, as they say, I mean, I'm cancer free now, but with such a serious diagnosis that I had being pancreatic cancer, going radically from stage one to stage four, back down to one, and then to disappear and to have a a complication of a, of a tumor in my liver that was removed as well. I'm really, as the doctors say, uh, you know, we're in uncharted territory here. So I just got my uh, CAT scan back and uh, looked great. Just saw my oncologist yesterday and uh, everything's great right now. But, you know, it can cause you ongoing uh, anxiety and 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 you know it, it comes up on you um, right now for 2022 I have to um, I have to uh, go every three months for a CAT scan if everything goes well in 2023 it'll be down to every six months and hopefully after that once a year but um, you know as that date approaches I'll be going in uh, early or late August to uh, early September the anxiety builds because when, as anyone who's had it knows, you just, all oh, all you can think of is you have to be positive, which I am, and I stay busy, which I've mentioned in my other videos, but it, you can't help but think, what if this comes back? Because it's such a, a, a really horrific experience in, in any manner. So I do have to cut this fairly short today, but I just wanted to say please reach out and talk to somebody if uh, if you need to. Um, our cancer center has a support group, which I don't actually attend because I have my own therapist. But if you don't have someone that you really can reach out to and talk to, please, please look into it. Um, any cancer center or any anywhere I know will help you find the right right people to talk to. And if it's if the fit doesn't work, Try someone else and stick with it. I've uh, I've been uh, seeing a therapist on and off for uh, eight years, very much prior to my cancer diagnosis, and uh, believe me, that was uh, once to twice a week, roughly for the last eight years. So it's quite a bit, but you need to put the time in. You need to put the commitment in, and if you really, really want to feel better, that's what you need to do. You can't go once or twice. So uh, look for a therapist that you click with. If he can't, then get another one. They don't mind. So uh, everyone, I hope you have a really great day today. Uh, be kind to one another whenever you can. And always, always, always be kind to animals. I wish Basil would show himself, but he's not around right now. So that's it, I guess. But uh, yeah, be kind to them. They're the best of us and they need us to uh, protect them and uh, speak for them. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.